What's up, bro? How you doing today? I hope you're good. So I wanted to show you backup mixing tutorial. So I've uh, pulled out this backup from one of my artists. So the tip I want to give you now, it's first of all, whether you're doing a gospel song or you're doing a secular song, your backup matters a lot. The way you record your backup matters a lot. So as you can see this backup here now, I didn't just record, let's say I'm recording the soprano part of the song. I recorded it twice, as in that person that took the soprano part. Or if, for example, you're the one recording yourself, you have to record it twice. Not like you're trying to say which one is better than which one. Of course, you have to make your choice, pick out the, the one that sounds better from the two, then still record it again the third time then now you have to make your choice completely you have to delete one then leave two so as you can see there i have a soprano auto tenor so the male voice now is the tenor which is uh like heavier than the female voice so i had to just record the male voice once because i have a lot of female voices around here i recorded them twice so the same goes for your secular song so if you're doing your backup record it twice then what i want to say about your panning never pan dead left or dead right about 50 percent or 40 percent it's okay if you want to get that stereo feel on your backup you have to pan 50 percent 30 percent or 40 percent don't pan 60 70 80 or full to the left so before i proceed let me just play this audio let you see what it sounds like. Fire in my eyes. Fire in my bow. Fire in my bow. I got fire in my eyes. Fire in my eyes. Fire in my bow. Fire in my bow. All the people when I'm trying. When I'm trying. Oh, I stand there for you. Stand there for you. Stand there for you. Stand there for you. All the power don't plan me. So, like I was saying, so let me just solo this part of the female voice. So, you see what I'm talking about. All the people where don't try me, go ask them, them for your cut off for ground. Eh? Okay, so you see, you hear that one, then hear this one also. All the people where don't try me, go ask them, them for your cut off for ground. Eh? So, let's play the two and see what it sounds like. All the people where don't try me. Go and stem them for you, I can't tell for ground, eh? Hey. All the powers where don't plan me. Go and stem now, they fall, they fall, eh? Hey. So as you can see, I did this particular backup twice. Then I panned one left about 40%, then panned one right about 40%. So it's now giving me that stereo feel. So that's what I did for all of them. But I didn't do that for the male vocal because the male vocal seems to be deep so if you're doing uh, a simple song which you don't require much backups like this for example now you, you just run your vocal your main vocal and you want to back up i advise you back it up twice just leave it like that then pan one left pan one right to give it that stereo enhancement so i didn't just do that what i also did again is i have grouped all the backup all my backup into one group i've created two groups like you know you should do create two groups one for your main vocals one for your backup vocals so that you can easily control them from here so let's say for example now you're playing the main vocal is too loud than the backup you can either reduce the main vocal or the main vocals then maybe the backup is too loud you can control it all of them at once instead of just uh, pushing clicking here dragging up this knob it's not done that way so you have to stay organized in your track and again don't add reverb to your backup don't add reverb just leave them dry or if you if you want to add just add a little amount of reverb so 
what I've done in this backup is I just uh, did an EQ, just a small EQ because of it's if actually more of female vocal. So I didn't just cut more of the low end. So normally I'm supposed to cut more because you know male voice is very big. So because of it's more of female vo vocal. So I just had to cut a little bit of it. So then I also added a compressor. As you can see, I'm using most of uh, most of Cubase inbuilt plugin. So, but this one is Waves from Waves. This is a C six compressor. It's a multi band compressor. So then the noise very important, very important. You denoise your vocal. Then also I added the reverb. As you can see, it's very tiny, tiny amount of reverb, not much. So then this is a Diesa. You know what the SR does to to reduce sibilances so that it won't be painful in the listener's ears. Then I also did a pitch correction. This is inbuilt. Then the most important one here is the stereo enhancer. So I increased the width to about 73%. And one other thing, your main vocals, your main vocals shouldn't be clashing with your backup. Your main vocal shouldn't be clashing with your backup. So as you can see, my main vocal is standing out. No matter how crowdy the backups are, my main vocal is standing out. Fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. So another good thing to do, as you can see, I didn't add any reverb. Sorry, I didn't add a delay, not a reverb. I can only add it for one purpose. It's either I want to send my delay to my reverb. So I can do that if I want to. Fire in my eyes. Fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. I got fire in my eyes. Fire in my eyes. Fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. So let me just show you some effects that I've added in my main vocal group. So as you can see, I added that same EQ. I added an EQ, still stereo by the noise. Then uh, this is a compressor. You know this compressor. This is FET compressor. Then I added the DSR. Then I added another EQ at the end of it. Then I added the stereo answer also. So you know these things changes. You can't just have one pattern and uh, use one pattern for all your your songs. You have to know what an EQ does, what compressor does, what uh, as you can see here. I'm even using two types of compressor. I'm using a multi-band compressor and also a parallel compressor here. As time goes on, I'm I'm still gonna be showing you some stuff, some tips. Fire in my eyes. Fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. I got fire in my eyes. Fire in my eyes. Fire in my bones. Fire in my bones. All the people when I'm trying. When I'm trying. Oh, I stand there for ya, cause I'm trying. Let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. All the power when I'm blaming. Swallow it all, it's gonna fall. So brothers that if you have any questions you can throw them I'll be waiting